Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Central and I'm at Build 2015 in San Francisco where Microsoft has just been talking about HoloLens. We were on a special two hour tour given to developers and some members of the press. And so this was a different tour from the January one. For one, we got to see not finalized hardware, but more finalized hardware. The one I tested in January was basically a full computer unit you wore around your neck and some thing on your head, of course. This was the one that you guys have actually seen on stage, the gray uh, basic device that you wear around there. Uh, it was completely wireless this time, so we weren't tethered. And so it was actually a look at what is basically the near finalized hardware. And it's fascinating because it's still unbelievable that that thing is what it is, but it is what it is, a standalone holographic computer that you wear around your head. So we got to do some new uh, programming trials. So Microsoft made some new software and it was only completed about a week ago and the developers that were coming through were able to see how they could actually make holograms. Now how this works is when you make a Windows app, a Windows 10 app that's universal, it could be made into a hologram as well. It's the same programming language. And so they teamed up with Unity and they made this app package and we basically saw what it's like to create a hologram, including the spatial sounds, speech commands, gestures, and all that. And they walked us through the steps and we would deploy it to the actual HoloLens and then put it on and ex experience what we just created. Now, I didn't write my own software, of course, but uh, there were people here earlier in the day, other developers who did create things and we got to try them out. How did I like it? It's still a fascinating experience. There's some really strong points here. First of all, the hardware. The hardware itself, I would say, it's not light, but it's not heavy either. It's sort of in between. In fact, it's sort of what you probably imagined it would be. It does feel a little bit heavy, but it's not uncomfortable. You throw it on your head, and there's actually like a ring on the back that you use to tighten it around the base of your skull. And of course, it goes up and down, and it can come out and backwards if you wear glasses to help accommodate that. It was pretty comfortable, but you really have to get it precise on your face and lined up perfectly to experience the actual holograms the way they're meant to be. Uh, speaking of the holograms, so the general consensus for many of us in the media were they're very good, but you're limited to a specific, uh, like, I don't know, rectangle in front of your eyes. It's sort of like holding a tablet in front of you as opposed to being immersive in the holograms. And this is something that I think uh, is misconveyed a little bit in the media, uh, the footage, when they show people walking around the room. It looks like they have holograms all around them. Technically they do, they also don't actually see all those. You only see the holograms that's in the direct line of sight. So when you look down, you'll see a hologram, but when you look up, that hologram now sort of disappears. It's still technically there, but it's you won't see it until you look back down again. And it's a bit uh, disconcerting for some, or at least it's unusual from the expectations that people had. Uh, but once you realize what you're actually seeing, like I said, it's like holding up a little screen in front of you, and wherever that screen was was the image, you kind of got used to it. And you also have to have it positioned, like I said, perfectly to experience that. But there's a lot of good here too. Uh, we got to listen to the speakers this time with the uh, ambient sound. And it's really impressive. Basically, if a hologram is on the ground in front of you when you turn your head, that music will only come into this ear and vice versa if you go to that ear. If you walk away, the volume goes down. And it worked very well. It was a kind of a surreal experience. I'll also say the gestures of using your finger to click and manipulate objects works very well. It takes a few minutes to get used to it, but afterwards I was very casually doing the gestures with no issues. And I thought that was really great. Um, I think a lot of us were expecting this weird sticking your arm out and like doing this over exaggerated thing, but it's a pretty lenient system where you can just put your arm here, over here, and you'll always see it. So that was very good too. Uh, the unit didn't get very hot, it did get a little warm, but not that I would have noticed, it was only afterwards when I would take it off uh, to basically plug it back in and reprogram it. So uh, those things are really good. The actual holograms themselves are impressive. The physics behind them are fantastic. And here we're talking about when you put an object on the like a table and you can walk around it and it stays very steady. That stuff works flawlessly as well as still blowing holes and things. Uh, and overall, definitely a fun experience. I think for some people it was a little bit of a letdown. Like I said, you don't get the, uh, the holograms in your peripheral vision. And so that's something that you have to kind of get used to. But still impressive that this thing is completely wireless. You can put it on your head. It's a full on computer. We got to see how just regular developers could program this without any crazy tools. It was Unity and Visual Studio. And it's pretty impressive to see that. It still has some time to go, I think, before it's going to be finalized. Clearly, Microsoft's looking for feedback here. But the stuff is real. It's coming out. And Microsoft is definitely getting ready to sell this sometime, hopefully, this year. 
And uh, you know, we're going to keep following it, but we'll see how Microsoft improves it over the next few months. There you go. Head to Windows Central for more information. You tell us what you think. Are you excited about HoloLens? Take care, everybody.